Ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. Target is collapsing. They have lost $10 billion just this week alone. And this is a huge shift that's happening in the culture war right now. People are saying enough is enough. And also you may be wondering, why are all corporations doing this at the same time? Well, I'm gonna uncover why they're doing this all at the same time. And also a new investing strategy well, if one of these companies announced that they're going to promote these products, just short it to zero because investors are voting with their wallets and they're saying enough is enough. So everyone, how much is Target going to crash? How much is their stock going to crash? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to cover in today's video. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the news, the facts and the data. Look at this, everyone. Target loses $9 billion in one week following boycott over the LGBTQ friendly kids clothing. Now, I just want to say up front that I have nothing wrong with the LGBTQ community and many gay, lesbian friends I have, etc. They're great people and they're not forcing this agenda on people. But what we're seeing is the global elites have hijacked this agenda. They're using it to push their propaganda and they're using it to win votes by saying they're going to support all these minorities. Meanwhile, how are these minorities communities doing? Well, they're doing worse than ever. Are they getting ahead? No, but they're using this community to say, yes, look how supportive we are over here. Meanwhile, they're stripping your rights and privileges and your freedoms over there. So a week ago, Wednesday, before the controversy erupted, Target stock closed to $160.96 a share, giving the big box chain a market capitalization of 74 3 billion. But we'll go to the stock price here, everyone. We can see it's crashed all the way down to um, $140.75. That's down 12.5% just in one week, and they've lost $9 billion in their market cap. So we're starting to see this is a massive, massive trend. We saw what happened with all these beer companies uh, promoting a certain person that you cannot even say, otherwise your videos will get deleted or censored, that if they start forcing this agenda on people, people are saying enough is enough. Stop shoving it in my face right left, front and center. I'm sure like me, many people don't care what these people do in their private life. That's their life. It's up to them. But don't throw it in our face all day, every day and also in front of our children. Now, as a father of two young boys, this hits very close to home for me. So Target said on Tuesday it was removing some items from its stores and making other changes to its LGBTQ plus uh, merchandise nationwide ahead of Pride Month after intense backlash from some customers who confronted workers and tipped over display. So this is people saying enough is enough. People are starting to get outraged. And the thing is, you have to start to take a stand now, people, because it will keep on going. If you give them an inch, they will take a mile. And they're always trying to test the population to see how much can they force on the people before people say enough is enough and take a stand. And that's why I'm posting this video, taking a stand right now. I'm putting myself at the risk of losing my channel, at losing subscribers, losing support. But there comes a time where you have to pay the price, grow some cojones and speak up. Since introducing this year's collection, we've experienced threats impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being while at work. Now, people, there's no reason to threaten or get angry or abuse the staff. It is not them forcing this agenda on people. It's the CEO, which has said some remarks that I think are absolutely crazy. It's the global elites. It's the ESG movement. That's really why these corporations are pushing this. And that's why I've tried to warn people about this ESG, environmental, social, and governance. They're trying to force corporations to sign up for this and then what they do is they give them a score now this is kind of like a social credit score for major corporations if they get a bad score well they're not going to get funding but i hope a time will come when they'll say look this esg score isn't worth it because yes i may not be able to get credit but at least i won't go bankrupt given these volatile circumstances we are making adjustment to our plans including removing items that have been at the center of most significant confrontational behavior again if it was rainbow clothing or whatever may be fair enough but we're seeing some things that are absolutely sickening like tuck friendly underwear and satanic clothing as well target said customers knocked down pride displays at some stores angrily approaching workers and posted threatening videos on social media from inside the stores well i think i found him everyone the right wing extremist economic ninja just kidding he did a great video covering this
Now, again, investors are not very happy at all, but wait till you hear what Target CEO is saying. So Target CEO Brian Cornell has defended the LGBTQ friendly merchandise, saying it's the right thing for society. So this is what the global elites are thinking. They're thinking we need to force this on the children that are very susceptible. You know, I could tell my son that the sky is green and he'd probably believe me. And it's absolutely sickening. For example, you can't buy alcohol cigarettes until you're 21, but you can take these pills that ruin your hormones for life and have life-changing surgery that is irreversible. I don't know about you, but I made a lot of dumb decisions before I was 21. But unfortunately, if, for example, a boy plays with a bit of makeup or plays with a doll, well, that's it. He's a girl. You need to put him on hormone therapy right now. Again, as a father of two young boys, this is very, very worrying for me. And I'm doing everything I can to monitor what they're watching online and also what the teachers are teaching them in school. Target declined to specify Wednesday which items it was removing, but among the ones that garnered the most attention were tuck-friendly woman swimsuits that allow trans women who have not had gender-affirming operation to conceal their private parts. But people, one of the most concerning things, I think, is the satanic things they're putting in front of our children. And for people that seem to not believe in God, a lot of these global elites, um, these global corporation leaders, they sure do seem to believe in Satan. So designs by Abrella and a London-based company that designs and sells occult and satanic theme LGBTQ plus clothing and accessories has also created backlash. Target confirmed that it's moved its pride for merchandise from the front of the stores to the back of stores in some southern stores after confrontations and backlash from shoppers in those areas. So this is showing us, everybody, we have a tool. We are finally winning against the global elite's agenda and these corporations pushing these agendas that we don't believe in. And the most powerful thing you can do is vote with your wallet because the only reason these corporations are doing this is because they think it's going to get them a higher ESG score and more funding. But once they realize if they push this, it's going to make them go bankrupt, they're going to flip in a second. If you think they're doing this because they really care about this community, no, they're using it for propaganda and for profit. Again, this is some of the clothing they're putting in stores, which is absolutely sickening. Conservative commentator Tommy Lawrence said on Tuesday that Target is about to see its business suffer in the same way Bud Light did. That's exactly right, Ron. We all saw what happened with Bud Light. They've lost about $20 billion in market capitalization and they're practically giving things away for free now. They said, I think Target really soon is about to find out what happens when conservatives shop or rather don't shop. Because they are about to get Bud Lighted, Bud Light has seen its sales drop for some six consecutive weeks, down 25% versus a year ago in the most recent week. So I'm sure what you're wanting to know is, okay, why are they doing this if it does not make any business sense whatsoever and what is their real agenda well this is something that i've been wondering all along now what we're starting to see the latest propaganda that they're starting to push with this lgbtq plus community is something very very disturbing they're starting to say well for example a male that's 40 years old well, if he's in love with a 13-year-old and they consent, there's nothing wrong about it. You know, it's totally normal. They're in love. It's okay. No, people, it's not okay. And this is a prime example where you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. First, it just starts with inch by inch. You know, for example, you boil a frog by slowly turning up the heat. If you turn it up too high, people are going to say, well, enough is enough. Because what's one thing the global elites can't buy with their billions? That's right, a relationship with a minor. We all saw what came out of the Epstein Island and absolute horror stories we heard from there. There was a conspiracy theory for many years, but of course came out to be true. Well, that's what I fear the most. The global elites trying to make it legal for adults to have relationships with minors. But everyone, what do you think about this? Let me know down below. Now, for my law viewers and subscribers to watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.